Okay, last part of X6. Let's do this. After we finish slashing our way through the door. Yes. And hanging on to it as we pass through. Finally, we can defeat Sigma once and for all on the PlayStation. Oh! I'm sure I've seen this room before. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, Sigma. It's zombie Sigma. It's like the perfect representation of... Okay, I know. Sigma pretty much represents the game he's in. In X1, it's like with Star Wars references, but epic. X2, new and improved. X3, new and improved. X4, anime-inspired. Like, i.e. Gundam Wing. X5 is supposed to be, like, the best. And then this one's like, I brought back to life! <laughs> Sigma's like, Inafune is not here. I am incomplete. <laughs> This is like Sigma. Wakes up in the morning. Sound like you said Sigma. <laughs> but interestingly enough, as annoying as this game is with the nightmare, apparently Sigma doesn't have any nightmare because he's very reasonable <laughs> or easy. I suppose he's from a completely different game. Oh. <laughs> uh, should I mention that the air dash makes you invincible with the blade armor? <laughs> Right. Wow, that was easy. Remember when Sigma was badass and awesome? When that stop happening? I pretty much stopped happening in this game, I think. <laughs> Especially after that battle. Let's do it again! <laughs> For some reason I can just imagine him falling through the floor after you beat him with X and just landing beside <laughs> Zero. I think that is what happened. He's like, oof! Okay, I'll get up. <laughs> Is it morning already? <laughs> I haven't even had my coffee yet, too. Jeez. I'm still grinning. Of course I'm still grinning. I'm Sigma. This is my permanent facial expression. This is spitting at you. Yes. <laughs> I detest you! Look how much damage that buster like, does. He's not even trying anymore. He's it's really... Like hobbling towards you, like... Uh, those things from Final Fantasy. I forget what they're called now. He's just killing my tickets. Yes, Tom Berry Sigma has gone down. That's the one Tom Berry is. Except that, you know, he has no threat whatsoever. Could I defeat him? I don't think so. Bah, not yet! The battle has just begun! Die XXX, just die X! <laughs> what? I think Sigma's um, language skills are kind of incomplete as well as his body there. Mm, yeah. Nice job, Kate. You did a half ass job. <laughs> Should have used the nightmare. Hi. <laughs> Jeez. What's it's like a giant version of the Terminator with Sigma's head. <laughs> what's interesting enough is, uh, what's interesting, interestingly enough, God, is, uh, as you can see, they drop power-ups. That's right, in a final boss fight with Sigma, minions drop power-ups. Doesn't that make it a bit easy, though? Yes. <laughs> I also, it looks like he stole the powers of the Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I had to sell wow. my body for this power. <laughs> it's a gate. And look what happened. Yeah, but uh, this Sigma's weakness really is the, the saber. So if you're playing as zero, this is a joke. <laughs> also, the saber has an anti-Sigma virus in it, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> also, perpendicular lasers. Oh dear, this is really, it is like the most half-assed Sigma boss fight ever. The music is epic though. It's like a heavy metal, it is a heavy metal remix of Sigma from X1. I mean, the music in all the X games is good, I think. Yeah. I mean, they did probably keep the original composer room though. I mean, I have no way of confirming this, but that's why I'm guessing they did. Maybe, but all of X6 is just like, let's throw heavy metal in there, because... <laughs> because. <laughs> like, uh, Blaze Hutnik's stage for one thing, that was just guitar riffs all over the place. Boy, that'd be 
guitarists are awesome, so no complaints for me. Wah! I like how Sigma still has that creepy pube in, in this picture there, even though he just kicked his ass. Not to mention that picture is from X5. They didn't, they didn't even bother making the new Sigma face. I am still alive, I'm Sigma, no, I'm not in this game. <laughs> God, that reminds me, I never even played this, but I saw, like, Star Fox, uh, Adventures has nothing to do at all with Star Fox. They just slapped, like, Star Fox characters in that game at the very end. The oh, wow. Andross is like, now to destroy the world! It's like, you're just here, yeah. The same reason Sigma's here, just to say it's an X game. Wouldn't be an X game without Sigma. Show your face now, blah, <laughs> kid! <laughs> I'll show you what the terror is all about. Die zero, just die zello. Zello. <laughs> you zero. reason I can just imagine like jello zero. I just picture zero with like a troll face saying you zelly. <laughs> zelly zelly. Yeah, the only ones that don't drop power-ups, I believe, are those platform spike things. Oh, so you can actually jump on those as platforms. Yeah. But it really doesn't make any sense, dude. Remember when I said this was a joke with Zero? It's assuming Sigma opens his face. <laughs> It's kind of a cool design, it's just... wow. There's Sigma's head randomly, and that's it. <laughs> so, it, th th there's your proof. Well, there's your proof, folks. Sigma's body is literally just background. <laughs> <laughs> I saw my body so many times at this point, it doesn't even... <laughs> I'm learning that you can't get to the dimension that's just behind you. So I decided I just poke my head, you know, a little bit forward and attack you with that, so you won't be able to get any of the rest of me. Like, he sold his rights to Tony people. He sold it to Star Wars, then X Men, and then Captain America, and then Gundam Wing, <laughs> and then SNK, and now. God knows what. Oh, the, the Green Lantern Corps, that's right. <laughs> the Green Lantern Corps invades troll signs. Damn, I shouldn't have. Use that contract first, SNK! Should've went with Capcom. But, but Sigma, you actually do work for Capcom. Oh. <laughs> I like how I said that. As soon as I said that, Zero says, Shut up, Shut just, up die. just die. That's why Sigma got if you're going to be long in this game. They just brought you back for the walls and nothing else. Yeah, all we needed was a uh, lap cape. <laughs> lap cape, lap cape. Do -do 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 -do. <sighs> anyway, X6 has three different endings, but this is the only one worth mentioning. Because. Like, they're actually rescuing Gate, despite all his continuous trolling through the entire game. No, X is like, I, sh I had to save him from the wreckage. It was the least I could do. And Zero's like, whatever. Dude, he tormented you all the game. Why are you saving him? He's a jerk. Anyway, there's two endings that are pretty much the same. One with Zero and one without Zero. This is, you know... I really don't even need to show the other one just because of that. And the other one would be Zero's ending, and it's completely different. But even the one without Zero, Zero shows up at the last minute like Proto Man, and it's like, hey guys, I saw the whole thing, but I didn't help. It's just like old times, isn't it? He's chin face in the gang. Wait, Colonel's dead. Are you talking about Douglas? <laughs> yeah. Chin face is brother. Wow, now that I think about it, he's got Colonel's chin and he has Double's stupid face. <laughs> I was actually talking about the guy with the, the giant hat. I know, Signals. Yeah, uh, oh, I said, are you talking Douglas. about Douglas? Yeah. It does look kind of like double, doesn't he? Nah, it's okay. Evil Slash! Uh, we, we get it. 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, this is the last. No, wait, no, I'm sorry, that's not correct. I was about to say this is the last game with Douglas in it, but that's not true. Yeah, I was confused for a moment because I don't actually know the names of these uh, support characters very well. Well, okay, you know, I don't know what to really say except just memorize them. <laughs> except, okay, Sigma was the former Maverick Hunter leader, and then you have Cygnus, who's like, yeah, I'm wearing a black hat. Oh, yeah, Cygnus is, is that, uh, that guy who is totally not really Sigma in any way. Yeah. For reals. Alia, uh, I don't know. She's the navigator. And then Douglas. Yeah. This the fat guy with glasses. Yes. So that was Mega Man X6. Mega Man X6 staff, not including the original creator. <laughs> oh. So what'd you think? Despite looking incredibly annoying, it actually didn't look that terrible. Yeah, I, I um, first... You know, if it was a standalone game, like, without any kind of Mega Man stuff, I think it would have been pretty awesome. Yeah, I think that happens with a lot of games, you know, like... I'm making this video dated, but the up upcoming Devil May Cry, uh... game. It's just like... I'm sure it's gonna be really fun, but they shouldn't have slapped Devil May Cry on there. But, my opinion may change. And then, like, uh, Star Fox Ad Adventures, like I mentioned. Like, I heard that was a good game, but they didn't need to have Star Fox in there. Yeah. This is a problem when, when they try for, you know, new types of game. They think that they're not going to be able to sell anything if they don't slap a known name in it. But when they do, it just sucks because the name doesn't actually have anything to do with the actual game itself. Yeah. Anyway, if you like action platformers and you don't mind dying a few times, like, it's a Mega Man game, you're going to die, but... When he says a few times, he means, like, all the time, ever. No, no, I mean, like, <laughs> you have to, like, okay. I came back to this game after, like, ten years, thinking, like, oh, I'm not gonna enjoy this, but I, I did. It's because I'm experienced at action platformers, and this game is really ridiculous at times, but I still had a lot of fun with it. I would definitely call it one of the weakest X games, but it's still an X game. And it's still fun. So it's kind of like the worst of the best? Yeah. I just think also, of the nightmare. The nightmare. Hello, oh, I am Doctor McAfee. This guy had nothing to do with the story at all. I know. <laughs> What's up with that? What was he even there for anyway? Uh, I, I just feel like he should have been a boss, but wasn't. <laughs> this guy might be a boss later, open after production time. Let's just have him show up randomly at the end. I'm not going to explain what happened to him until like, he's gonna like be KO'd there. Well, now that I know, think... It's lying about part of the scenery. Yeah. Well, now that I think about it, like, X4 came out... Like, uh, I don't know. But then X5 came out three years after that, and then this, ga this game came out one year after X5. So it's like... It's undoubtedly a rushed game. Cosmoni mixed world ground. Ground. Oh, and this image right here is the ending if you don't uh, rescue Zero or bring Zero in or whatever. Alia talks to X instead. Because they were comrades. And nobody cares about Zero. Holy crap, he's supposed to be dead in this game. <laughs> I got... Uh, is that, what? Is that Gate and uh, Alia? Yes. So, wait, does Gate actually survive? No, this is like... You know, flashback thingy. Back when they were colleagues. <laughs> and Gate was secretly plotting to take over the world, as all good scientists are. Yes. And to ki kidnap the king of all cosmos. <laughs> yes. We're gonna put the king of all cosmos into a robot scientist. <laughs> so, that concludes the PlayStation era of... Mega Man X games. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. See you next time. Can't wait for X7. Mega Man X with 3D roaming. Later. Also, lab capes. Lab capes. Sparky bits. I'm bringing it back. <laughs>